Hey girls, and welcome to brush class. Sorry, I'm on a bit of a uh, funny angle, but I'd rather you see what I do with the brushes than looking at my face right now. Although I, I, I have makeup on. <laughs> Alrighty, so what I have here is one of those silicone little mat things. They're the ones that you can grip onto a, um, a glass jar and take off the lid. They are fantastic. And this one here has a flat side, smoky sill and the other side which has a, um, a featured end. Come on, say my water. So I just pop that down there, smooth side down, and um, it's got a very textured side there. So what I do now is I grab a brush. This is one of my uh, cream shaded brushes, and I've also got my baby shampoo there. And what I do, I'm going to take it open, squirt a little bit onto the uh, silicon mat, use the tap there, and I scrub. And you can immediately see just the amount of um, product that I use on my brush. Dip it under water again, and just keep going. Once you've got enough of the uh, product out of the uh, brush, give the uh, silicon a rinse. Keep going there. It gives it quite a good, uh, quite a good friction pad against the brush. And you can see as it doesn't, no, no more product comes off that. Give that a rinse there underneath the tap. Give that a squeeze out there, and then just lay that on the side there. And then, you can grab your other brush. This is my crease brush. Again, pop some uh, shampoo onto the silicon mat with your brush, and then just scrub. It's always really interesting to see the amount of product that comes out of your brushes. I do find that initially giving your brush a really good scrub on the silicon pad just to get all just to get the um the all the fibers loose and all the pigments loose give your brush a rinse under the tap as well as your pad and as soon as that brush is brushing up clear then I just give that brush a squeeze and lay it to the side and then you keep going. This is my deluxe brush. I use this quite a bit. And you can tell it's quite a bit. I've had it before where you get quite a rainbow of colours coming out of your brush which is always really interesting because then you can almost tell what type of colours I use with both my, my splurges, my pigments and my palettes. Give that a squeeze. Another one of my splurge brushes. And you can tell it's my splurge brush because there's a lot of colour there. So it's going to be exciting to know that the next time I use my brushes, they're going to be really soft. They're going to be so clean. And I know that there's going to, not going to be any transfer from my previous application. It's a gorgeous white brush there. You want to this is my uh, blusher brush this is very new but still i'm going to give it a uh, a bit of a clean it's really good to brush your uh, brush your brushes 
against the silicon pad and give them a clean depending on how often you use them so if you are thrashing your brushes every day like most presenters do or if you go to work and you're using your brushes which is normal it's good to clean your brushes at least once a week that way you know that you're not really glugging up your brushes making them thick and you can tell when you make them thick with product because the brush the brush hairs start to spread out a little bit more because, this, because they've got a lot of product on them so once you get rid of all of that give them a clean give them a dry when you run your fingers like this over your brush when they're dry they're gonna sit really nicely they're gonna fold back into place quite well and that's always a really a plus side because then you know that you're doing it with a clean brush this one should be interesting this is my sculpting brush and you can totally tell that this gets thrashed fantastic using a little bit of product on your brush a week then you're not going to need much baby shampoo this side is for my highlighting powder and that's from the contour trio Going into now my liner shader brush. This is a highly, highly thrashed brush. This brush gets used every single day. Every single colour tutorials my own makeup I really actually need another one of these because I can't talk about these ones highly enough they're just really 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 excellent because they have a double end to them they are very very flexible with their uses from shading to lining to blotting to blending I don't just use this brush on my eyes I also use it with my pigments on my cheeks when I'm highlighting as most of you know I wear a sexy pigment on my cheeks and this is the brush that I use because I don't need much pigment on my cheeks it's nice to know that I've got that small area to use on the brush way look at that Whoa. This is my liner side. This is what I use with, hang on please. This is what I use with my top eye line and my base eye line. It's another um, way to do your eyeliner. And those ones are done. Moving into the, uh, the big ones now. These ones I use with my bronzers. And you can tell that with the product coming out of them. So I use Sunset, which is a very nice bronzer for my colour shade. You will have different um, brushes with your, sorry, you, you will have different hair with your brushes. You'll have synthetic hair with some brushes and you'll have natural hair with other brushes. I think this one, I don't actually know what this one is.
Actually, this is a brush that I got from another brand that I was using pre-unique, um, but because I kept buying the brush that I wanted, which is the powder bath brush, and because I kept buying the powder puff brush, and um, everyone kept buying it off me, so I was still forced to use my, um, this one, oh well. Alright, so there we go, all sorted, clean brushes, have a great night.